Hi, welcome back. This is Taya Kino 22 my first installation video, and I'm going to be showing you how to install too many items, uh, 1.4.6 or 1.4.7 for uh, Minecraft Windows 8. Now, really, there isn't a difference between the Windows 8 and the Windows 7. It's just that you can go back and forth. So if you're running Windows 8, just go to the desktop, and this is where everything should be done. And keep in mind, do not use the other internet browser for downloading this. You have to use the one on the desktop. Um, so let me go ahead and get to showing you. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we need to download the Too Many Items um, mod. So we're going to go to the description for you guys. There, there should be a link in the description. And it's going to take you to this page. Now this page is Minecraft download uh, DL. You can scroll down here and watch this um, Too Many Items mod installation video. Uh, you could, um, there's one on here that shows you what it's about too. But basically what you're going to go is you're going to go right here and it's going to say download Too Many Items mod for Minecraft 1.4.7. Click it. Um, obviously I already have it downloaded. It should say, it should take you to this at fly link. And um, you click uh, skip add. It takes like four seconds. Um, and the download begins. Don't click any of this or you just want to get eye livid, which sucks. I accidentally clicked it one time. Um, basically skip add and then it'll start download. It should, or it should take you there or to a new site, or it should just start it. And I don't want to do that. But, so basically, once you have it downloaded, um, save it to your desktop, and it should pop up. Now, you're going to need WinRAR, or uh, I think it's RAR 7 or whatever. I recommend WinRAR because it's free. They'll say that your trial's expired or something, but um, it, it's actually free. Um, so, I already have WinRAR set as my default, but I would click Open With. WinRAR or whatever you're using Java doesn't work and it should show you the files but if I just open this up open with WinRAR then it will give me all these little things and um, this is basically the mod right here so then you're gonna right click on that you're gonna hover down here to where it says start right click Clicking run, type in percent app data. I'll have a little mark on the screen. Um, no capitalized capitalizations, just percent app data. Percent, uh, you click OK, and uh, it should bring you here to this folder, the Roaming folder. Now, this is the dump Minecraft, and this is it. Now, I did run a fresh Minecraft. You don't want any mods or anything in while you're installing uh, a new mod or something so make sure it's fresh um, you can force the update whenever you log in um, on the options button if you click force update then start it it'll just reset it and clean it out um, but yeah so that's that and to install it you gotta go to your bin and then this folder down here minecraft down here it should say um, well, uh, if you're if you're not using WinRAR as your deal, it, over here at the side it would say executable executable jar file. You know you're gonna click that and open with WinRAR, um, and it'll give you your Minecraft jar. You go ahead and Control A, which is gonna select all, and drag it over. Just set it in here, not in any folder. Don't set it in a folder. Just drop it on the thing. Click OK, um, and it's installed. The biggest thing you gotta remember though is this folder right here called Meta Inf or Meta Inf. Click it and delete it. Click OK, and once that's gone, it should be able to go. Meta Inf is the folder that keeps you from actually running mods. So now it's gone. Also, you can't delete MetaInf if you're in Minecraft. 
you can't mess with a lot of this stuff if you're actually running the game. Um, and that's something I figured out. And really, that's it, guys. That's uh, the gist of downloading this. It's not that hard. Um, and that's it. So you go ahead and exit out of your folders and stuff. And when you're in Minecraft, this is probably going to be extremely laggy. Let me go ahead and pause this. That Minecraft back up. Uh, just go ahead and click in your world. I, I this is just my test world. It really doesn't matter that much. Um, and funny. This is it. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck? Why isn't this working? Click E. Bam. Yeah. Uh, it's got all your items here on the side. But the new update is the um, favorite and how you can make stuff. And um, let me just make a little sword or something. You can actually put names to them. So we'll put like um, Excalibur. There you go. I, I, that's probably not even spelled right. Um, and then what you do is just some smite. I like the knockback one and the fire aspect kind of thing. Um, so you can make it and you can favorite it and then if you go here to your favorite it'll save it and save the name and whatnot. It's kind of cool. So you got your little sword that like shoots them a mile away. But that's basically honestly the gist of this mod. Um, you can save inventory slots. Um, so if I get rid of those, get this and that, and I want to go back to that old one, then there's no slot. If I want to go back to that one, there's that slot. And so that's kind of a cool um, little thing. You can set your game modes. Um, rain or snow, I would recommend keeping that off. Usually that's just the lag button. Let's shoot. Um, and another thing, um, and when you put these things up here, uh, it'll give you 64 blocks usually. Um, another cool thing about this mod is uh, this button here. The delete mode, you just click on it. But basically, that's it, guys. Um, this is pretty much the whole gist of the mod. So this is Taya King looking to sign off. Thanks for watching.